Hello everyone and welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today we're going to be talking about the surefire signs that your Venus flytrap is going into dormancy. It's also good to understand what dormancy looks like so you can distinguish the difference between flytraps that are going dormant and flytraps that are potentially dying. The weather is getting colder, the days are getting shorter, leaves are falling from the trees, and we even received a light dusting of snow last night. It's important to understand what our Venus flytraps are telling us this time of year. Oftentimes dormancy is confused with dying. I'm hoping today I can help you tell the difference between a plant that's dying and a Venus flytrap that's going through dormancy. I've even heard tales of people throwing their plant away this time of year, thinking that it was dying because they didn't understand the dormancy process for these hardy perennials. Let's go ahead and talk about Venus flytrap dormancy real quick. Venus flytraps are an extremely misunderstood plant. Oftentimes people think that due to its exotic nature, Venus flytraps are tropical and probably grow in the jungle, which is actually really far from the truth. They actually grow in pine savannas in North Carolina. This is the only place in the world that they grow natively. North Carolina does get colder in the wintertime. Venus flytraps are actually a perennial that require colder temperatures and reduced photo period during the wintertime. During this period, growth either stops completely or slows way down depending on the conditions. They store energy in the rhizome and come back stronger and healthier in the spring once attempts warm back up and days become longer. I have a video that goes in depth all about Venus flytrap dormancy. When this video is over, please make sure and check it out. It should pop up on the screen for you. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at a few different signs that your Venus flytrap is going into dormancy. Number one, and probably the biggest thing you're gonna notice, is that the growth will start to be shorter and closer to the ground. The plant knows that growing tall puts its leaves out in the elements and it's harder to keep them warm. Huddling up and staying closer to the ground keeps them protected from the colder weather and helps the plant stay warmer. Here are some examples of this kind of growth. You will notice that the longer traps that grew during the summer growing period are much taller and starting to turn black and die off. This is perfectly fine. This is not a sign that your plant's dying. It's healthy and normal for older traps to turn black and die as they get older and as dorm dormancy starts to kick in. New growth coming up should look normal, just closer to the rhizome. If you notice that the new growth is turning black and looks unhealthy, it's not likely due to dormancy. Something else is probably wrong with your plant and it may be dying and need some assistance. Before we jump into the next sign, let me show you how you can get your hands on your very own Venus flytrap or many other amazing carnivorous plants. I'm so excited to be teaming up with California carnivores. They are one of the most experienced and knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries in the entire world. They have a massive selection year round of all types of carnivorous plants. There will definitely be something in their nursery that you fall in love with. On top of that, they have been generous enough to offer my viewers an exclusive 10% discount on their order when they enter Bug Eater at checkout. That's B-U-G-E-A-T-E-R, Bug Eater. I have links in the description and the pinned comment so you can head on over and pick out the perfect carnivorous plant to add to your collection. You know you deserve it. Let's go ahead and head on back to the video. The next sign is that your Venus flytrap leaves will start to be bigger and more broad. The leaf is the area between the trap and the rhizome. When a Venus flytrap does not get enough light, the leaves will grow more broad to create a bigger area to absorb light and to try to photosynthesize. If your leaves are growing broad during normal growing periods, there's a chance that your plant is light starved. Venus flytraps follow this pattern going into the winter months due to there being less light. There's nothing wrong with broader leaves going into the colder months with shorter days, however. If you see this during the summer growing periods, you may want to find a way to get your Venus flytrap more light. Before we go into the next sign, if you're finding this information useful, please consider pouring some water on the like button and subscribe to help my channel grow. Liking, subbing, commenting, and watching the video all the way to the end are ways you can help support my channel and my dream of starting my own carnivorous plant nursery someday. Due to less energy coming in, your Venus flytraps will start to be a little bit sluggish. You might see traps either stop closing altogether or close very slow. This is simply due to the plant receiving less light and less insects being available as it gets colder. When flytraps aren't eating bugs and aren't getting as much light, they have less energy to put out. Seeing traps slow way down or stop closing at all is a sign that dormancy has begun and energy storage has started. Again, if you see these things happening during peak growing season, it's likely that your plant is not getting enough energy, which includes sun and insects. Dormancy can be really tricky for Venus flytraps. If you have any questions, you can drop a comment or watch the video about to pop up on the screen. I go in depth on how to take care of your Venus flytraps during the dormancy period. Thank you so much for tuning in this time and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.